How to make Nintendo-like semi-transparent dithering in one minute. Let's go! Open the shader editor in a new window and create the following four nodes. You need a texture coordinate node, whose window output you connect to a mapping node. Change the scale sliders here to your camera resolution. Then you connect the mapping node to a Voronoi texture node. Change the node to 2D and enable the normalized checkbox. Change the scale slider to something very small like 0.1 and all other sliders to 0. Now connect the distance output to a color ramp node. Change the color ramp to constant for high transparency contrast and connect it to the alpha input of the principled BSDF node. You're finished now and can change the hole size with the color ramp. More white makes the holes small and more black makes the holes big. If you change the Voronoi texture to distance to edge, you can have squares instead of circle holes. With the Z rotation of the mapping node, you can rotate the whole structure, for example, to 45 degrees to have a diagonal pattern. And with the scale slider on the Voronoi texture, you can change the number of holes, but be careful, the slider is very sensitive. A higher number will increase the amount of holes in your shader. Thank you for watching and consider a subscription if this one minute was educative enough. Have fun dithering and see you soon.